I'm down for some conspiracy theories, right? And I don't want any serious ones here. I want, like, the the wackiest of the wacky okay? Tell me down below, what is your favorite conspiracy theory? I want to be absolutely stunned by the end of this video. I will be disappointed if I'm not. By the way, as well, live on Twitch, if you... We got a banger here. You ready for this? Lionel Messi and Barcelona teammates sent secret signals to serious gun smuggling rebels during El Clasico. Claim State TV. What the f- Yo, do you play FIFA 22? Yeah. Is your team bang average? You absolute pathetic piece of- You saying that to the viewers? No, obviously. Ah, okay. I mean you. Do you face teams like this? You can't keep getting away with it! Do you know there's a way to get coins? Why are you shouting at me? Ah! Then go to youcivide.com for the cheapest and most reliable place to buy your coins on FIFA 22. Link is down below in the description. And also use code VISA at checkout to get a discount. World's best footballer, Andreas Iniesta and Pedro said to reveal best route for arms into country by their dribbling. <laughs> what? Now, I think this is actually the worst of the worst. I we can't get any weirder than this. And I need proof of this, I think. The nation state TV astonishingly claimed. Oh my fucking god. So this is apparently the so Messi had the ball here at the halfway line, which is clearly Lebanon. Clearly. If you don't see then you're a fucking idiot, right? Clearly, right? He, he's clearly in Lebanon here. And then he made a good little dribble towards Homs. In a perfect route, of course. You know, a bit right, left, right. Perfect, honestly, the perfect route. And then from Holmes over, he better pass to um, Pedro, but the Pedro is actually Dair Al Sair. I'm pretty sure I've completely I've completely butchered that. But anyway, it's a it's a clear and obvious pass, and that's the route towards Dair Al Zahir. And then into the back of the net by Pedro, but the net is actually Al Magadin. And that is clearly the best route to go on um Smug some dr some guns. I'm pretty sure that's what it's saying. Oh uh, fuck! Oh my god! There's actual screenshots. Andreas Iniesta starting off the move is said to signify the arms being unloaded out of Lebanon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, I mean, we all can see it. At first, you had me confused, but now when I see this, it all makes sense. It all honestly, it all makes sense, man. Messi's run through his Real Madrid opponent signifies how the rebels will face some obstacles until they reach Dair Al Zahir. Yes, that that is the obstacles in the way. Yes, the 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 pressure by Xabi Alonso in the midfield actually means missiles. Exactly. Honestly, how can you be so fucking stupid and not believe what I'm seeing here? End move. The goal by Pedro is decoded as the arms being transported by bus to the final destination. I mean, if you don't believe this, then I, I don't know what to say here, lads. Really, this is an actual like massive article. Like this is a actual. Some guy went to fucking uni. For like two, three, three years, maybe got a master's in it or something in journalism, and then went to get a job at DailyMail.co.uk and thought, back in 2012, let's do an article about a goal in the El Clasico actually means decoding ciphers to Syrian rebels. Honestly, man, I think my guys are. Genius. He's doing things that I'm not seeing. No one's seeing. Drugs, essentially, boys. That's what I'm trying to get at here. Okay, next conspiracy. Oh my... Yes, 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 yes. This is... I fully believe this. I love myself. It's gonna sound weird, but I love myself a good curse. I love myself a good quality curse. And nothing gets any better than Yaya Torre's curse to Pep Guardiola. And um, you know the best part is, the entire reason of this, from as far as I can tell, is the fact that he felt like he was disrespected and something along the, line, along the lines of, he wanted a birthday cake? Am I being dumb? Is that part of the issue here that he wanted a birthday cake? And because he simply didn't get a birthday cake and felt disrespected and didn't like Pep Guardiola, that therefore he put a African curse on him. I swear to God, this is a genuine quote by Yaya Torre, okay? I mean, it has quote marks in it, so of course he can't make this up. Why would he possibly make it up? Port says, I am sure that many African shamans will not let Guardiola win the Champions League in the future. It would be like an African curse on Guardiola. Time will tell if I am right or not. Four years later, completely rational. You know, like, if you don't get a cake, African curse. You know what I mean, man? Like... I feel like we should all be taking a bit of a, a leaf from Yaya Tori's book here. Why can't we just curse 
more people more often. Like, imagine how scared you'll be. Imagine, like, like high school, bro. You know, there's always that one teacher that always gets a bit too lippy to you because they think that you won't do anything. Drop them an African curse and see what they say back. They'll be f***ing trembling, bro. Please don't actually go around to schools and <laughs> please don't go. No, please don't. I'm scared that I'm going to see a, a tweet in, like, a week time. Someone actually, like, declaring an African shaman curse on their, like, history teacher. I like this because there's really nothing to this. There's no, there's nothing bad to it. No one died, okay? And so far, it's lasted. Lads, do you remember? I don't, I mean, I don't know how old most of you guys are. So most of you may not actually even know. I mean, I imagine you should know. I was like 11, and even I didn't know what was really happening. I just, I just saw the videos on YouTube. But this king octopus, this octopus has a conspiracy theory around it. You know, poor the octopus. So as far as I'm aware, the guy, well, I say guys. It's octopus, but like this geezer, okay, popped up during the World Cup, did some predictions. My guy got a bit hungry, and apparently made some correct, some correct calls. You know what I mean? My guy did some little things, and apparently got big numbers on YouTube. My guy is the original, the originator of the trending YouTube. Okay, my guy built that sh from the ground up. So first things first, respect to my boy Paul. He's, he's one of the real ones. He's one of the OGs. He's probably got eight out of eight predictions correct. I do believe it's completely bots, but, you know. Let's go back up to some Paul the Octopus propaganda before we get into the conspiracy figures. I want to see my boy in action, okay? This was, like, everywhere. And the worst thing is, the worst trend is that since then, all we've got from every single, like, tournament is just people just having, like, their dogs or cats or hamsters or wheelbarrows making predictions bro and hoping to god that they're gonna run okay my dog predicted the um, winner of the ucl final last week okay i didn't get any f***ing credit there is a final, final. Mac, netherlands or spain, spain to win my over boy. the netherlands isn't that kind of like rigged because the octopus was i mean my boy was to the right and spain's more to the right isn't that rigged as f I call a, I, I call a retake of this. My, look at how f my, my guy is all the way to the right. Of course, he's going to pick the nearest one. Fucking <laughs> rig. Final match, he picked Spain to win over the Netherlands. Chefs across Spain. Of course, Spain he did. It's the one closest to him. So, what's the conspiracy theory? The conspiracy theory is actually the fact that apparently he died like halfway through. That Donnie, you, that Donnie you just saw right there, that's not even poor, bro. Okay, that's Dave. Okay, that's not even Paul. Apparently, the prediction is that apparently he died halfway through the World Cup. Director of a forthcoming thriller entitled Who Killed Paul the Octopus? For f sake, man. The creature had really been dead for the last three months. She is 60 to 70% sure Paul had died in July and had been secretly replaced by his keepers. The reason why, explaining how such a deception could have been perpetrated, she added... Octopuses all look the same. It is impossible to tell the difference. Right on. Right on. Honestly, I've never noticed the difference between one octopus and another. Right on. You go there, Zhao. So apparently, Paul the Octopus, that, that guy that's over there, that's Dave, bro. That's not Paul, okay? You've been fucking pranked. Who killed Paul the Octopus? I want to see. Is this an actual, like... I feel like I've not been cursed. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm going to get killed by even looking at This is apparently a movie trailer to Who Killed Paul the Octopus. Has this even got to do with Paul the Octopus? Where's the octopus? Oh, there you go. Okay, so we've got ourselves here. Kill Octopus Paul film. Spot on. I, I like this one because it, it actually has some reason to it, I believe, but it just sounds funny. If you're a Spurs fan, I'm so sorry. Lasagna Gate. If you've got a conspiracy theory about the uh, around the, the you know around lasagna, I'm down. I love that. Guess go. Okay, that's like my favorite type of conspiracy theory. Lasagna conspiracy theories. So there's a lot to go into here, but essentially, from as far as I can gather, that they were on the final day before the end of the season. That was between Spurs and Arsenal to go on to qualify for the Champions League. And the night before, that apparently when before they went on to play, I think it was at West Ham, I believe ten. Ten players. Star striker Robbie Keane and midfield pass master Michael Carrick, among them, were hit with a stomach bug. So concerned were Tottenham, the police were called 
fucking snitches. While environmental health officers took away samples of the food the players had consumed for testing. Lasagna. Lasagna's the reason why you- um, te To be fair, man, I can confirm this is actually true. I was, I was a lasagna. That's actually class. Prime suspect. Sources. Sorry. Sources suggest Arson were behind the zone. That's actually amazing. Oh my god. The thing is though, this is so prime spurs. Imagine the reason how you like you you but you bottle top four is because of a lasagna bro food poisoning is still felt to be the cause of spurs's problems but an investigation by the health protection agency found no issues with the food served at a london marriott hotel none of the results or findings indicated that food poisoning were the cause i call boss i call this man okay look at this man look at this man you you're gonna tell you're gonna look at his face and tell me that he's not behind this can look him in the eyes and tell me this guy is not behind this. I remember from like a month ago, and I actually put it as like the title of the video because it it sounds it's like such a it's a nothing conspiracy. There's no real proof behind it. It's just like it's just the only explanation of how it actually happens. So the conspiracy theory is there's no proof to this. Just it must be the only reason. Maratta must be used for um for for fraud or for tax evasion, or for money laundering. It's the only reason why he's still at all these clubs, okay? Look at his history, bro. Okay, so, so, Atleti to Getafe, but then Getafe to Real Madrid, okay, cool. Then Real Madrid to Juventus, Juventus to Real Madrid, Real Madrid to Chelsea, Chelsea to Atletico Madrid, Atletico to Chelsea, Chelsea to Atletico Madrid, Atletico to Juventus, Juventus to Atletico Madrid. I know there's a lot of loans in there, but, uh, uh no, look at the loan fee, 20 million euros, that's f***ing money laundering, bro. That's the only reason why he's there. That's the only way that, in my mind, it makes sense. There's no way that he's there for any other reason, bro, other than for some dodgy shit, okay? The cat curse of racing club. Seven dead cats curse. I feel like I shouldn't even get into this. I'm, I'm kind of scared. Curses and witchcraft. Okay, you, you got me on witchcraft. Okay, let's see what's going on here. It's got a cat in the thumbnail. So that's how you know that's a banger. Okay, boom! So in 1966, racing club, the Argentinian club, celebrated their title. Independent supporters broke into the home stadium of racing club where they proceeded to bury seven dead cats. This so-called ritual was supposed to cast a curse on racing club. As silly as it may seem, it did end up working. Since that day, racing club was not the same. In fact, they were far from being racing club we were used to seeing. With each passing year, they somehow performed worse. So they got relegated into the second division in 1983. They faced financial problems and they also declared for bankruptcy. In hopes to lift the curse, over 100,000, 100,000 fans gathered and started searching the seven cat bodies. Despite the massive number and extensive search, they only found six out of the seven buried corpses. This is morbid as f bro. With the last one still remaining buried somewhere on the pitch. Fast forward to 2001 and raising a point to the new manager called Reynaldo Melo who declared he will not be stopped until the last cat body is found. This went so far that he ordered the entire pitch to be dug up, demolished and renovated. It might seem extensive, but it paid off. The final and the seventh cat body was found and the curse was lifted. This is class. This is... No f***ing way. The same year, Racing Club won the Argentine Premier Division for the first time since 1966. What the f- Wait, so you're telling me the second they dug up the cat bodies, they won the league? This is my favorite one. This is actually class. You know what? I just saw a comment there, someone saying it'd be hilarious if they only ever buried six, but lied about the seventh. That would be unbelievable as well. Imagine that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. If there's any weird conspiracy theories that I've missed out on, tell me down below, and we may do another video going into it. Cause, I mean, I don't even know what my favorite is. I think my, my favorite has got to be... No, so it has to be the Syrian Rebels and the Barcelona move. It's got to be. It genuinely has to be. There's no way, bro. Tell me yours down below in comments. I'll see you guys next time. Please don't put a curse on me, though. 
appreciate that. Cheers, lads.